Japanese tutor, and we're going to be going over the Nine Orbs today. So obviously, we're going to play e4, c5, knight f3, d6. And we're going to clear our minds because now we're in a Sicilian. And we're looking at the white side today. d4. C captures d4. Knight captures d4. Knight f6. Knight c3. And here's where many deviations can happen in the Sicilian. But today we're going to go over the Knight Orf with a6. And after bishop g5, our recommended choice, we're going to go over move 6 sidelines. So queen b6 is no good. Because if bishop takes on f6, g captures on f6, and knight d5. White is a bit better from the opening. We can solidify an advantage after queen d8, queen h5, d6, and knight e3. Where our plan is very simple. We can consider playing c3. We can consider castling. If knight c6, we can consider taking and playing bishop d3. White has very easy play where black has to be precise. Next move. So not queen b6. What if they play g6 here? And on g6, we play bishop captures f6. The point is if they take, the square becomes ours forever. And this is going to lead us to a better version of the browser variation. After here, queen d2, knight c6, castles knight captures d4 queen captures d4 bishop g7 it's just good because we take on d6 if bishop here king b1 so g6 is no good and we learned how to exploit it now what happens if after bishop g5 they play queen a5 looks very natural the queen a5 move but here we have the same resource bishop captures f6 g captures f6 knight b3 queen d8 queen h5 and I hope you're taking notes. Because we have an advantage here. A simple idea. E6 here. Rook G8. G3. A3. And then F4. getting all of our pieces active and in play. And we can decide whether we want to castle queen side or king side. So I need you now to take a deep breath. And we're gonna hold that deep breath. Keep holding it. And let go of the bad chess ideas that you have. In with the good chess ideas. Hold. Let it sink in. And we're removing the bad chess ideas now. Out. One more time. 
in with the good ideas. Hold it. And we're going to keep holding. And we're going to keep holding. And out with the bad chest ideas. Now that we're in Zen mode, we can accept everything that our studying has to offer. So on Bishop G5, on Bishop G5, we can thank people for the following. Maybe we'll do an Italian game. Maybe. And on Bishop G5, what if they play E5 here? Very common move. But the easiest way. Is Knight F5. Practically forcing Black to take here. On bishop e6, we have a very, very nice move. Bishop captures f6. Queen captures f6. Knight captures here, here, and here. And white is just better. What happens if they capture with the pawn instead? Not allowing you to play here. Bishop e2. Castles after? And then we just wait for them to vacate our d5 square or control over d5. What happens after they take? Then we hit him with the intermezzi. And let them get lost in the sauce. G takes is never a good idea. Because if E captures F5, and now we control very key squares, and our knight goes uncontested on D5. F6, and now here, knight d5. Another intermezzo, forcing the queen back because of the threat of knight c7. Queen d8, and captures. White has a slight advantage because he has a knight on d5, and also they have no black square, they have no light squared bishop. And now what happens if we go back? We're great in this line, so let's understand how to get better in other lines. What if they play bishop d7? After bishop g5, what if they play bishop to d7? And on bishop d7, we need to take a small mental break and focus on our breathing. Make sure you're going in with the good and out with the bad. There is no use of thinking about tomorrow's problems when we're living in today. And today we are studying chess and we'll focus on tomorrow's problems tomorrow one of the most important phrases in life comes from a Japanese saying ashita no kaze ashita wa fuku one more time 
明日の風明日は吹く And in English that means Tomorrow's wind will blow tomorrow. There is no use in worrying about what we can't control right now. And now we're back with the chess. After bishop d7, we play f4. Because if we try to play queen d2 here, they have an amazing move e6. And after we play f4 here, now h6. Forcing us to capture on f6. And if we don't, We get lost in the sauce. Discovered attack. If we take here, they take here. Should be six. They capture step one. Capture them. And black is just better. Up a pawn. Great small center I influence on these two squares. Very easy development as well. Bishop c6, knight d7, bishop e7. If we ever push f5, they don't have to take. e5 might be an idea, or even castles. Getting the hanging pawn situation. Thank you for following. So back to Bishop D7. We must play the correct move order with F4. Knight C6, Queen D2. And if h6 now, h6, bishop captures f6. Glad to see Zen chess as it should be. Thank you, far away. Thank you for having Zen Chess on your stream as well. If you have not followed the Zen Master far away, then you should. And with Chi Captures F6. Finally, developing our last minor piece with bishop c4 is good, but castling is slightly better. Exerting pressure on the d file. And if e6, then bishop e2. But we'll go back. f4. Knight c6. Queen d2. And we'll promote this line here. Bishop captures f6. G captures f6. Castles e6. Very nice move. Beautiful move. This should be seven, no boy, no.
And now we go into another idea here. What happens if they play knight c6 instead? Queen d2, knight captures on d4, queen captures on d4, queen a5. Make sure you focus on your breathing, everybody. And solely focus on chess. And Zen Mode has run out. <laughs> That was actually pretty calming, I think. <laughs> that was really calming. Like, just like, just focusing and kind of like small meditations in, in, inside of that as well. <laughs> I, like, I don't know. I felt like I was learning even more going over it when I was just thinking about like just breathing and just calmly focusing on, on the things, so. Send mode has a uh, run out. So queen a5. Queen a5. You guys remember what's it do after queen a5? Does anybody remember? Nobody remembers? That's a shame. But we'll go over it. We'll go over what to do. Bishop d2, right? We're playing bishop d2 here. Because of e5, queen a4, remember this one? Bishop d7, bishop captures f6, queen captures f6. Bishop b5 here. Ooh, so so beautiful. Queen d8, bishop takes, takes, and queen b3. The point. Actually, maybe I should make the queen a5 line. I don't know. I feel like that's okay. Queen b3. And this is the point because white has obtained the dream position over and control over the d5 square as well as easy deployment of their pieces with castles here, here, you know, very easy, easy development. What do you mean, queen e5? Oh, no, 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 not if queen a5, not bishop captures f6, bishop d2, bishop d2. Now, you can play bishop captures f6. That's fine. Bishop d2. Bishop captures f6 is, is awesome, but bishop d2 is what we're going to play here. All right, and if we get one new follower, we're going back into Zen mode. So if you have not followed already, please follow. So we can go back into Zen mode and understand this better. If you have not followed already, I need you to follow. What, what if there's nobody new here? What if they're all old? Or maybe what if they're lurking? Hmm. Invite a friend. <laughs> Invite a friend. There we go. There we go. Sky money coming in. Z back into Zen mode. Back into Zen mode. Sky money saving everybody. <laughs> I 
And we're going to high zen mode right now. Super high zen mode. And after bishop d2, queen c7 is the move. Again, e5 does not work here. Because of queen g3, bishop e6, knight d5, queen d8, and c4, where we have amazing control over d5. And they are forced to take bishop d7 and queen a3. Very nice move, playing bishop d3 on the next move. And we have a very easy plan. White is slightly better here. Queen c7. Knight d5. This is exploiting the fact that they have not played e6 or e5. Takes. And of course we take with the pawn. Against this, this structure, we would love if our pawns are like this. Because this would be known as the Marco Hopped structure. where white is slightly better. Queen capture c2 seems bad for us. And it looks very scary. But it's only scary if you are not prepared. Let's say a situation. You've played Resident Evil 13 times. And you know the opening by heart. The first time, sure, it was scary. But you weren't prepared. So we have to prepare first ourselves and then our mind. And nothing is scary. Because either queen c2, rook c1, and we have amazing play. Queen f5, only move. Another natural move would be queen g6. But this fails to a beautiful tactic. Bishop captures a6. And if they take, they can expect to lose more than just the bishop. Or possibly the game. Forcing queen e4 and we take. If rook c6. Take with the rook. Takes. We take. Mates. Mates. If takes. Rook takes C8. Rook takes a, and we're gonna get back the material with interest. Check. Check. And simply castle. Our threats are coming soon. Queen c6 takes. 
and we're much better here after rook c1 white is dominating so queen f5 only move well, what if they play what if they play after queen g6 bishop to c6 here what happens Bishop captures b7, and if they try to be fancy and take, now they are lost in the sauce. Good. We need to. And if you haven't, already seen the mate there is a mate in seven a beautiful mate in seven rook c8 bishop capture c8 bishop c6 bishop d7 bishop captures d7 king captures d7 queen a7 king c8 Queen A, King D7, Bishop A5, King D7, Queen D8 is slightly better for White. They were too lost in the sauce. So queen f5, and we continue. Bishop e2. If e5 takes, takes, castles, and white has very easy development, and black struggles to complete his or her development. Pericro, that is right. Queen g6, bishop a6, and go get yourself a drink. Your opponent will look at you like you're Bobby Fischer. One more line, guys. One more line. The knight bd7 line. Here we'll take a very fresh approach and play queen e2. Queen a5, bishop d2. If queen b6, knight b3, e6, we can just play g4 here. Already some trouble for the second player. If queen c7, again, the move is g4. b5, bishop g2. If h6 here, instead of b5, then we have castles with good play. What happens on knight b3? If they try to play knight e5, f4 is good for us. The knight doesn't have anywhere good to go. Knight c6, knight d5, we capture with the pawn, and we're good to go. If g6, castles, bishop g7, G4, 95, very strong move now. H3.
and thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all of the support. Honestly, this channel's for us, and you're the guys that make it possible for me to continue this stream. So, from the bottom and from the top of my heart, I thank you.